Hey, what's up all my YouTube people? This is Fuber Dude with another video review. You got the touch! You got the power! I was really excited when I got this guy. Not only because he just looks cool, but also because I saw the Blitzwing on eBay. And then I found this thing at Walmart for about 20 bucks. Got it right away because it's great in size and it's very excellent in its looks so we're gonna show you some of the tech specs and stuff here pretty soon alright so I took them out of the box and now we're gonna show you what this guy's like okay so I love the box art here I'll adjust this a little bit love it nice nice I love that picture and then it says Autobot Springer and then the 30 years in 2014 that's coming up pretty soon here so Really excited. Um, just another stuff. We have this Autobot Springer. Autobot Springer was built to be a tough guy. Everything about him, from his nickel-plated blaster, excuse me, cannon to his bad boy attitude, is calculated to communicate exactly what he wants to. He's a no-holds-barred, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He prefers to fight alone, trusting his skills and luck to get him out of tight spots, rather than relying on his fellow warriors. After all, other Autobots fail. Autobot Springer never does. And I just love that. You got pictures of his alternate modes and his robot modes. Uh, we got his tech specs. He... yeah. So... That stuff doesn't matter. Nice Autobot logo, love that. The picture from the front comes to the back, so yeah, that's about it with this. Now, here he is out of the package. And, as you can see, he's really, really, really well engineered. Just from the looks, you can tell. Now, I'll show you a few of his articulation aspects. Um, his feet don't really do anything, but that's just that his knees on a ratchet joint it's on a thigh swivel joint and right here it's not really a ball joint it's more like a hinge joint so that's with that um he rotates at the waist but not very far because his back plate sort of stops so that kind of defeats the purpose but you can pose him however you want um he's got a ball joint right here so that's full range of motion Ratchet for elbow, you can have a swivel of the wrist, and his head is on a ball joint, so you can move that pretty much wherever you want it to go. And that's it for articulation. Now, this is the only triple changer of the Autobots that I know of, so we're just gonna see those modes in a little bit here. But first, I want to show you some of his. Uh, accessories. You got this missile launcher thing and I really like this because it does shoot one at a time as you pull them forward so you can just reload those in and so yeah so you can put that in his hand here and it really holds nicely you can pose them any way you want you could shoot them at the camera if you wanted to but I wouldn't do that so um Oh, shot one of the bullets. Um, he's got a really cool sword that you did see in the original G1 movie. So we're going to attach that here. And none of the other people come out with a sword, so you couldn't really have them fighting anyone else. But whatever, it looks great. Okay, so to transform this guy, what you want to do first is take these arms, unplug them, because they plug in right here. Do the same. Take his legs off. Um, and then with the arms, you take this off, and then you fold his fist in, you close this back up, you take this out all the way. Do it to the other side. Just 
step one finished. Then you plug these down. And um, I like to keep these down even in robot mode because I think he looks better. But yeah. So then you take these, make sure they don't plug back in. Um, and then you take his head and make sure it's um, pushed down all the way. Not like that, but like on the ball joint is pushed down. And so then you can move his chest piece up. And so it's very clean. And you just push his head down into there. So then that when you move that up, it plugs into here. Then what you want to do is take these, slide them down, and they sort of just rest there. They don't really plug in. Now you take his arms, and um, you move them like this, and then this turns over, and there's a plug in here that it plugs into, and there you are. Do it to the other side. And be careful not to move the wrong joint, because there are a few joints that you could get this thing mixed up with. Sometimes it doesn't want to go in. There we go. It's really tight and snug, so they won't. these arms don't move very much. Then you want to flap this down. And then what you want to do is um, take the legs, and they connect right here. You just got to really squeeze them. There we are. And then you can take these landing gears, move them down. And this plugs in right here. There we are. You want to ratchet that all the way down. And this doesn't really stick in very well, so just leave it for now. You take these, his feet, push them up like this. And then you take these and you fold them up. And last but not least, you take this little thing here, I'll set them off to the side, and you sort of transform this. Split it apart, and you rotate it down this way, and this moves up, and plug that in, so it sort of spins. Anyway, so you take Springer here, and plug it in, and there we have helicopter mode. So now another thing you can do with this is you can take this gun and plug it in, although I always have trouble doing that. Um, you see this little thing? Oh, by the way, it pivots so you can have more possibility. Anyway, you move the landing gear in here all the way up, and I forgot to tell you about that, but that's another landing gear. It goes up in here, and uh, before I do that though, there's a little tab here, here if you can focus. There's a little tab here, and so you have to take that and plug it in right here. So sometimes it doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go. So there we are. So now he can have a turret while he's in helicopter mode, and I like to do that except for one problem. It doesn't stand very well then. So, I don't know. If you want, if you have a display stand that you could somehow attach it down here somewhere, and you could do this with him, like, in, in the air, then it'd be pretty cool, but... Okay, so now how to transform him into his car mode? What you have to do first is pull these down. Pretty much, it's the same up until a certain point, so you unplug these. You take this out and see this landing gear you fold it up well first what you want to do actually step is put his head down I don't know if you can see that then put the landing gear down put it up do the same thing with his hands Oh, actually, but this time you want to leave this out like that.
Okay, then you take this thing, you turn it, and it pushes down. And make sure this is pushed up. It sort of slots in there. This doesn't like to stay. So now, do it to the other side. Make sure this is up like this, so it sort of fits in right there. Do the same thing. And there's most of him. And then, you take this whole back section, well, not that, you unplug this, and you move it back, and then push it down really far. It clicks twice, so people can sometimes get confused. So now, you pull these back forward again, and right here, it slots in there. If you can see that. I'll show you on the other side, just so you can see a little better. Like that. So, you can already see what's sort of happening. These plug in, although sometimes this one likes to stay, but this one doesn't. So you have to be careful with that. Sort of push it in. There we go, now they're staying. Okay, so now with the legs, you move up his feet. Move these out. And um, you can fold these down and make sure these are flat, actually. Move this back. Plug in the legs. Take this. And it doesn't really plug into anything except for the arm. But even so, I haven't totally figured it out yet. There. That's the best I can do for now. Other side. Doesn't like to go. Sometimes I undo this, so. There we go. Fold this thing back, and then these go like this. Now you can put these up like this if you really want to. I think it sort of looks a little bit better, but this kind of gives it a little bit more of a car look. So, yeah, there we have him in car mode. Now what you can do with him in vehicle mode, you can take this gun thing, and you can either put it here or on the helicopter um, plug-in. Now I like to do it on the helicopter plug-in just so you could s the driver would be able to see a little bit better. I think it looks a little bit cooler and also you can take the sword right here and you can store it on the bottom which is really nice in fact what you sort of do is you take this right here and you sort of slot it in between the landing gear so you take these up put it in there and then you fold these down and it sort of holds it this likes to come off and so it sort of holds it. And so when he's driving, it still rolls nicely. Sort of. But it sort of causes friction. Like if you take this thing off, it might not cause as much friction. Yeah, like I said, it rolls better. So I just like to leave it off to the side. I only take out the sword when he's in helicopter mode or if he's in robot mode. So you do what you like with it. Um... Overall, I, I would probably give him a 9 because there's very minor things. Actually, a 9.5 would be the case, but I can't complain besides that. I mean, actually, I can't complain at all. It's just minor little things that I don't even care about. So, if you want to pick up this guy, should you? Yes, highly recommended. Pick him up. He's great. He's very cheap for a Transformer for the quality. I mean, this guy's great. Don't pass up an opportunity to get him. If you see him at Walmart, take him. If you're a Transformer lover, that is. Anyway, so that's pretty much all I have to say about this guy. So until next time, 
keep playing guys this is fuber dude signing out you got the touch you got the power hey hey springer man you're cool let's be friends you know me remember during the battle of autobot city yeah i remember you you're that stupid punk hot rod you killed optimus prime no Yes, you did! You killed me! Make a Trump watch me because you interfered! Exactly what I said. You killed Prime. You know what? I'm done. I'm finished with this. I wanted to be friends, but... <clears throat> RC, if you're watching this, he's a dummy. You got the touch! You got the in case you were wondering, my review's in a little bit. Stay tuned till Fuber Dude comes out with his next review. I gotta go before Springer kills me. You got the heart.